women. On the one hand, they're supposed to be tougher, be able to take it. My sense is you're a slut if you don't, you're a lesbian uh, if, if you don't, you're a lesbian, you're a slut if you do, and, and yet you might have to be quiet about it because you're supposed to be tough. Right, there's a, a, a real strong intimidation factor for women to report sexual harassment. That's in any job, but particularly in the military. I think some of the uh, problems that they're experiencing right now is that when women do even report sexual harass harassment in the military, um, there's a, a failure to respond rapidly enough. Talk about failure to respond, Kathleen. The idea that there has been no prosecution, that no one has mm -hmm. come forward to testify, that's a little shocking. Maybe I'm being naive, but doesn't that protect the offenders and give a secondary message? Yes, it does. And first of all, very important, it does protect the offender, but also it, it, it uh, destroys the confidence level for any females in the military that are experiencing um, sexual harassment and, of course, the cases of rape. It's a serious crime, and when there's no acknowledgement of the crime or worse, no enforcement or disciplinary action taken, then a... too much to let any of it pass you by. That's why you wear a TENS. A TENS doesn't fasten low at the hips, it fastens higher at the waist to help it stay in place and protect you snug and secure. Nobody's gonna slow me down, oh no, I got to keep on moving. Ball, the most powerful, the most dominant, the most feared, best sports.